Hey friends, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century Nine Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We're located at, on Highland Road in Waterford, and uh, we would love to uh, have you connect with our church in ways that uh, are possible. We stream uh, our services on Sunday morning uh, over Facebook uh, at present, and uh, we also uh, invite you to come to worship with us in person at 1030 on Sunday mornings. This past week, we've launched a new uh, a new series of messages on life-changing decisions. Each week with our message, we produce message notes so that you can follow along in the message. You can write in the uh, spaces provided, or you can write in the margins, or you can just listen and enjoy uh, the message. And then there's five days of devotional material, Monday through Friday, that uh, is written for you to further unpack the scripture and the message from Sunday morning. So as I said, we've started this new series of messages on life-changing decisions. They are represented by several one-word phrases. Uh, stop or, or start, stop, stay, go, and then a series of messages that sort of go into different disciplines in terms of trusting, uh, serving, and connecting with others as well. So let me... Uh, I say that this past Sunday was all about starting a new habit. And the idea is that uh, our habits, our daily lives, and the decisions that we make tell a story of our life and how we can move forward in the direction that we wish to move and that God would want us to move toward. So in starting a new habit, uh, there are several different uh, things for us to consider and how those habits uh, uh, create our life story. You know, when we tell our life story, we might start with where we were born, where we grew up. Maybe uh, we could tell about our favorite teacher or our first crush or maybe your first car. Uh, for me, I, I always uh, throw in the fact that I grew up on a farm and and uh, kind of the uniqueness of, of that experience. Uh, I remember going to... Uh, uh, my going to college and people were saying, well, where'd you grow up? And I said, actually, I grew up, I didn't grow up in a town or a city. I grew up on a farm outside of three little towns that together their populations wouldn't come up to 500, I don't believe, or excuse me, 5,000. Um, but, you know, it was a great life. I enjoyed it and the lots of lessons that I learned in that place. And like others, I probably wouldn't include some of the more negative uh, chapters of my life. When we share our life stories, we often just share the the good parts of our lives, the good chapters, the, the you know the the chapters uh, that tell about uh, good accomplishments and uh, maybe an award winning uh, gameplay or or a time in which you were honored uh, on a team or uh, in, in a particular endeavor. Uh, we skip uh, those negative uh, chapters sometimes. Um, we don't tell the times when we blew it, and we know we blew it, um, where maybe a mistake cost you more than you imagined, where you compromised your values or broke promises or or did things you wish you could undo. You know, we get we get very few do-overs <laughs> as adults. We're not on the playground anymore. But here's the good news. The good news is no matter how you describe your life, we're not done writing the chapters of our life. There are more chapters to be written from new opportunities to do good to, to, uh, uh, to uh, creating uh, meaningful and lasting relationships. Uh, to, uh, and while our past can't be unwritten, it can be redeemed. And we can always add new chapters that will take our lives in different directions so that we may uh, tell uh, of our life story that will make us proud and honor our God. So the questions that I would have of you today as we sort of think about throughout this week of starting new habits, starting habits that uh, are beneficial to us and beneficial to the relationships we have, I would ask questions like, what would your, what would your life story uh, look like? What, cha what, what would the chapter titles of your life be? Uh, what chapters would you leave out of your telling of your life story? How would you want to change your story? What chapters would 
of life would you like to write now? You know, what endeavors do you want to be about? What new adventures would you want to share in? I want you to meditate on those questions. You know, so often we don't reflect enough on our lives. And we're too busy living them, right? But uh, if we really reflect on our lives and think about our lives, I bet we can identify patterns uh, and uh, practices that define our lives in ways that we may or may not like. And so take the time today to think about your life story, how you would tell it, what chapters it would include, what chapters would it, uh, uh, would it uh, be omitted, and then also think about how does your life story share, uh, share the direction in which your life has gone, uh, whether it be a positive uh, direction or a not so positive direction, and would it honor uh, not only your life, but the relationships you have and the honor that you can give God. Something to think about today as we begin uh, this uh, week of, of talking about starting new habits. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for the opportunity to come together each week to take this time, uh, specifically today, to reflect on our life stories, to know of your grace and presence as we tell those stories, and to celebrate who we are as your people, or as we're trying to become the people that you created us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey friends, have a great Monday, a great beginning to the week. Bye.